Hello, friends. This is Warner Bible Study Lesson 8 on Matthew Chapter 8. I'm Tim Dwyer, Professor of Bible Ministry here at Warner University. Welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us again. And as always, you are uh, warmly invited to join us on Tuesday nights at 6.30 in the Darby Lecture Hall here on the Warner University campus in beautiful Lake Wales, Florida, if you should be in the area. Let me tell you about Matthew Chapter 8. It's the chapter which follows the Sermon on the Mount and is in great continuity with the first seven chapters of Matthew, at least in four different ways. One is that in those first seven chapters, we have this emphasis. It goes back to chapter three, and then again in chapter four, that Jesus is the Son of God. We'll see how that comes into our chapter in a minute. And then uh, a second bit of continuity. Uh, at the end of chapter seven, it says that Jesus taught as author with authority not as the scribes. We'll see how that comes into chapter 8 shortly. And then a third thing. Uh, at the end of the Sermon on the Mount in chapter 7, uh, Jesus says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom. That curie, curie is going to come in four times in our chapter. And then a fourth way that there's continuity. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus said he came not to abolish, but to fulfill the law. We're going to see a crucial case where there's a fulfillment of Scripture in this chapter. Here's the question for your life. At the end of Matthew 7, remember, as I said, Jesus asked, uh, are, are you some, Jesus, Jesus said, not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom. The question for your life is this. Are you someone who calls Jesus Lord only, are, or are you someone who does the will of the Father, who follows the ways of the kingdom? Matthew chapter 8 helps us to answer those questions. Here's what happens in Matthew chapter 8. At the very beginning, a man who is a leper asks Jesus if he can heal him. In verse 2, he actually calls Jesus Lord. And the question is, is this going to be someone who calls Jesus Lord, or is this going to be someone who actually does the ways of the kingdom, not just in word only, but with his life? Then a second incident takes place. It has to do with the centurion, probably not a Roman centurion, probably a centurion in Herod's forces, who has a servant that's ill. He says he's a man of authority. He could command someone to do this and do that, and it will happen. That goes back to Jesus' authority in Matthew chapter 7. This person also calls Jesus Lord. So we ask the question, is he someone who calls Jesus Lord only, or someone who calls Jesus Lord, but also follows the ways of the kingdom? And then there's Jesus healing Peter's mother-in-law. Not connected to the previous chapters, but the mother-in-law gets up and serves. And we'll learn later in the Gospel, Matthew chapter 20, the greatest is the one who serves with the verb diakoneo. Then a fourth incident. Jesus cast out the demons from two people who are demon-possessed. That's to fulfill Isaiah chapter 53, the same fulfillment that we saw in chapter 5, especially verses 17 through 20. And then, uh, after those four incidents, there's some would-be followers. And the would-be followers actually again call Jesus Lord. Are they people who just call Jesus Lord or who actually do the will of the Father. And then, after uh, those would-be followers, we enter into uh, two more uh, brief vignettes, or two more brief scenarios. Uh, let me mention them. One has to do with the storm at sea, where the disciples say to Jesus, Lord, curie, do you not care we are perishing? And Jesus demonstrates his authority, though the words aren't actually used, over the water. And then, finally, he cast out the demons from two demon-possessed people. And the demon-possessed people know Jesus is the Son of God, just like it said back in chapter 3. So these scenarios, you have these, these incidents from earlier in Matthew coming forward. The authority of Jesus, don't just call Jesus Lord. Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus fulfilling Scripture. In Matthew chapter 8, we're asked this vital question for our own lives with four people calling Jesus Lord in this chapter. And the warning of the last chapter, not everyone who calls me Lord shall enter the kingdom. Are you and I people who call Jesus Lord or who call Jesus Lord and actually do the ways of the kingdom? Because not everyone who simply calls Jesus Lord will be saved in the end.
God bless you, and I hope you'll join us soon and, and study with us in the future and upcoming chapters of Gospel Matthew. Take care now.